I would like to know if this session has been useful. Okay. Is this a question? Well, it doesn't look like a question, but I need an answer from you. I'm expecting an answer, right? So I expect a yes or a no. So this is a question. Okay. On the other hand, I can make a direct question. Has this session been useful? So you can say yes, or you will say, mm, okay, moderately so, or you'll say it's been okay. So you will answer this. This is a direct question. So here I am adding this, please. I would like to know to this direct question. Has this session been useful is the direct question. I'm adding some words to make the question indirect. Okay. So now why should I use indirect questions? Well, they are more polite. Okay. And they are commonly used in uh, say formal conversations. So instead of asking, uh, what's your name or who are you? It is more polite to say, I would like to know who you are. So it's usually used to make conversations more polite, especially when we interact with strangers or in formal situations. So how do you make an indirect question? We usually add the words, uh, phrases, for example, can you tell me? Do you know? I wonder if I would like to know. So I can add these and there are many other such phrases that you can add to a direct question to make an indirect question. So some of them, even when you make them indirect, they still are questions. So in that case, I have to put a question mark. But uh, sometimes it looks like a statement. I wonder if uh, she likes coffee. So this doesn't sound like a question, but you expect a response. So it is a question which doesn't have a question mark. But all of these are called indirect questions. Now, let's see an example. Who are you? This is a direct question. Okay. So these are all the introductory phrases that I can add to a direct question to make them indirect. Fine. Okay. So now, how do I make it into an indirect question? Okay, I want to add this. Can you tell me? And then do I just add who are you? No. Can you tell me who are you is not correct. This is again a common error that people make. Okay, uh, so I cannot just add the introductory phrases to the direct question. I have to modify the direct question slightly to make it into an indirect question. Okay, so let us see how this is done. So there are three rules you need to remember. Let's look at this direct question. What's he doing? Okay, I want to add the words, do you know? But I can't just say, do you know what is he doing? That is not correct. The order here in this indirect question, the order changes. This becomes statement order. See, look at the statement here. He is working in Mumbai. He is. So that is the order in the indirect question. In a question, it is, is he? So the order becomes re-inverted. Okay. Similarly, shall we try one more? Where have they gone? Okay. What is the answer to this question? They have gone to OT. So if you look at the indirect question, I'm adding, I wonder where. I can't put have they gone. I have to put they have gone. Why? Because the indirect question follows the sentence statement order of subject and verb, not question order of subject and verb. So the word order in, a, in, the, in an indirect question is the same as it is in a statement. So who is this? Can you tell me who this is? Why, why should I say who this is? Because that is the statement order. This is Julie. Fine. So the order of subject and verb will be the same as a statement in an indirect question. This is different from the order in a direct question. Okay, so when will you come? How will I make the indirect question for that? Okay, I would like to know. So how should I make this question now? When you will come. So this gets interchanged because the statement order will be you will come tomorrow. So the statement order is subject plus verb. Whereas here it is question word plus verb plus subject. This is helping verb plus subject. Fine. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Where do you live? What is the indirect question? I would like to know where you live. Okay, so what happened to this do? Okay, 
Let's look at the next question. How did he go? How do you make it into an indirect question? I would like to know how he went. So why do these two questions look so different? Okay, That's because the first um, rule that we needed to remember was the word order, the statement order, not question order. The second rule we need to remember is we have to omit these words do, does and did in the indirect question. So if I have a question, what do you want? How will I make the indirect question? I can add any introductory phrase, the ones we saw uh, previously. So can you tell me what you want? I should not use this helping verb here. Okay. So do, does and did are omitted in indirect questions. When did she leave? How will you make the indirect question? Do you know when she left? Because she left at 10 o'clock. That is the statement order. Okay. So in the indirect question, we omit these words do, does and did. Okay. So that is rule number two. The first rule was the order is the same as a positive statement. The rule number two is if you have do, does and did, you have to omit them. Now, what is the third rule? See, these are WH questions, right? What do you want? When did she leave? What if you have yes, no questions? Did you see my dog? To convert this into an indirect question, I have to add this introductory phrase. Could you tell me? Then I have to add these words if for whether. So could you tell me if you saw my dog? Why? Because this is the statement order. I saw your dog um, near... Vena's house. Okay. So that is the order in a statement. So you saw my dog will come there. You will add a word if for whether when you have a yes, no question. Let's try some examples. Do you like sweets? This is a yes, no question. So usually you say yes, I do or no, I don't. How do I make this into an indirect question? I would like to know I told you, you have to add if for whether. I would like to know whether you like sweets. Okay. Are you comfortable? How will you make this into a yes, no question? I would like to know if you are comfortable. So I add these words and of course I change the uh, subject and verb uh, position here. So here when it's a do, when because you have this word do, you, rem you remove this word and then you retain the rest of the words. So the three rules are, what are the three rules here? The word order is the same as a positive statement. And then you eliminate or remove or omit, do, does, and did. And the third rule is when you have yes, no questions, we use if, for, whether. Fine? Okay.